19. I would like to explain the difference between SIT and UAT or SIT versus UAT. First question, what is SIT in implementation type? SAT nothing but system integration testing. Here I take in two companies as example. Pharma company, Natco Pharma. Retail company, service based company, McDonald, Airtel, Walmart. They are using Oracle ERP. So if you are in implementation after CRP2, functional consultant build the SIT environment, SIT instance, example Natco Pharma. We will do the configuration, enterprise structure, module wise setups. There are no inbound integrations, example. Functional team testers will identify what to be tested as per business requirement, we regularly will have a P2P, O2C, mass edition transport to GL. These are all standard functionalities. We will do the end-to-end -end testing with integrations. Example, I created POGR, whether I can able to match the invoice in AP, validate accounted. We can call integration test. Order to cash. I ship the goods to customer. We will run the auto invoice. Invoice creating automatically or not. We will verify. Mass edition. Asset capitalization from AP to FA. Then all entries transferred to GL. These all scenarios will be covered end to end as integration between the models, between the applications. We will call SIT, System Integration Testing. What is the object to outcome? Once we are doing the testing, there are any issues. We will identify defects, bugs that we will be record in the ticketing tool. Set up a configuration team means function consultants will fix it. High priority. Again, we will be retest and confirm all scenarios working as expected. Second scenario, retail companies, McDonald, Airtel company, Walmart company. Same scenario, we will configure it, enterprise structure model. We will test the P2P, but here I want to highlight client using the billing applications, third party application we will consider as the inbound interface. They will sell the, or they will be, do the business from third party system by internet, online websites, or any building application, showrooms, or franchise branches, they will be do the business. But that cannot be done in Varat layer directly. Client like to recognize the revenue that front end sales in Varakil. We need to build the inbound interface as integration from third party to Varaki layer. So I mentioned building application to cash, service to cash, that we can say integration. Means we need to do a lot of testing with the third party system, we will simply call SIT. So we will do the functional testing as a standard functionalities, plus third party application systems also you can do. If there are any outbound interfaces are there, Oracle ERP to banks, Oracle ERP to some other system for reporting that also comes under integration testing. So we need to check all scenarios identify any defects, bugs, control it, fix the issues. Then what is the UAT? Once we done successfully SAT, we will build the UAT instance. Then we will do the, okay, 
configuration and we will do all integration movement. We will migrate the data as per cutoff date. We will hand over the UAT environment instance to the client team. They will be perform the test cases, test scenarios as per the TE40. So they will verify these setups, this software meeting their expectations or not, working as expected or not, like general creation, invoice creation, payment creation, customer creations, supplier creation, reports submission, period and closures, then reconciliations. So these are all, these are all scenarios. These are all scenarios will be tested by users as a business user or key user. They will verify and they will confirm Okay, all functionalities working as expected. They will give the sign off or they will give the decision making yes, making to go live environment. So once they conformed with the sign off, decision making about UAT, we done the successfully, client was happy, then Next environment, we will create a production environment and we will hand over to the client. So simple SIT within the project, within the Oracle, module to module, process to process, based on the client. If it is a service industry, I explained integration third party to Oracle, UAT, user testing and confirm. So SIT will test by like uh, developers, functional team, testers, UAT, done, UAT testing will be done by business users and client users, client uh, IT team also. Thank you.